Okay, um, today I wanted to show you how to enter compounds into this MS component table. Um, <clears throat> like I uh, uh, discussed in one of my previous previous videos was anytime like you want to do any quantitative work, you know, uh, like you want to have calibration plots uh, and you know you want uh, the amounts of the uh, compounds you need to enter that compound into this component table okay so I mean um, so so uh, so what I have over here is a full scan data uh, it's uh, uh, it's a pH mix, mix a polyaromatic hydrocarbon mix so the first thing uh, you know if you want to enter compounds into your component table you need to know you know what compound it is right so um, let me zoom in so <clears throat> what I do is, uh, you know, like I've shown previously, you click on the comp on the peak, and then you do a library search. Right click, find in library. So um, I know, like, uh, uh, the mix contains naphthalene, even though it's the second uh, hit. Uh, um, I guess azulene has a similar mass spectra like naphthalene. So I know this is a uh, naphthalene. So so what you do is uh, uh, click here to add a new component and type in green. Okay, then you press create. So it auto auto <coughs> automatically creates uh, uh, the compound naphthalene. But uh, as you can see, the retention time at respect is zero. So you need to type in the right retention time. So <clears throat> the retention time for this compound, so let me click on this compound again. Uh, you can see it over here, RT 6.14. Okay, so that's what you type in, 6.14. Okay, and enter, and there you go. So you have your first compound uh, in the component table. So similarly, and you know you can uh, do the same thing for this compound you know uh, right click uh, library search let me let me show another way of doing library search so when you're in the mass spectra pane you go to library and find a library you know it's the same thing <laughs> um, but uh, you know I find the right clicking and going to the library search much easier and uh, this particular compound is ace naphthalene um, I know it because I know what compounds uh, were there in the mix. Um, so that's ace naphthalene. And similarly, you know, you would add your compound, you know, type in ace naphthalene. Anyway, um, this is one way of uh, adding compounds to the component table. Let me show you another way uh, to do the same thing. So let me let me delete this. Okay, so I press delete and it goes away. Okay, good. Another way is uh, you go to your chromatogram pane okay and then go to the layout and uh, you see this peak windows so you click on the peak windows so uh, what happens is uh, if you observe it creates this sort of a bar uh, over here so let me do it again unclick it goes away click it goes away so what you do is you take your cursor near the bar and you know near the peak and just drag this so when you drag it, you know it automatically creates the compound in the com MS component table for you. So um, obviously it has not named it because you know it doesn't know what what it is, but it has automatically taken the retention time and the window for you. So this is a slightly easier way uh, of doing things, even though you know you still have to type in the compound name. Okay, and uh, press enter and there you go naphthalene so similarly you do it for the other compound so other peaks okay and you know you type in your name uh, okay so these are the two ways uh, in which uh, we can add um, compounds into the component table uh, let me stop here and then uh, in another video I'll show you a third way of adding compounds uh, a much more automated way okay um,